In my previous video, I showed setting up an Amiga 2000 in Winyo AE. After that, just for fun, I thought we could install an x86 bridge board. I've just missed out on the December event going around on YouTube, but let's see if we can get DOS working within Winyo AE. So some of you might be wondering, what is an x86 bridge board? Well, because the business world was quickly adopting the IBM PC technology in the late 80s, to help get the Amiga into the playfield, Commodore made a Zorro 2 board that basically had an IBM PC on the board. And with some Google searching for an A2088 BIOS and install disk, we can emulate this in WinUAE. So let's go back to our Amiga 2000 setup where we left off. So I've got my Amiga 2000 loaded up here and I've downloaded a few extra things. So I've downloaded the BIOS for the A2088 and I've also downloaded the install disk version 1.3 as well. Google is your friend with all of that. And as well, I've gone to winworldpc.com and downloaded a version of MS-DOS. Particularly, I chose 3.3. With that, we've got our Amiga 2000. Let's press F12 and we need to change a couple of things around. So first off, we need to go to expansions. Uh, we've got our SCSI controller that can all stay as it is. Um, but if we go to the drop down, we're looking for x86 bridge boards. Click on that. And then in the next drop down, I'm looking for the A2088 Commodore. And then I need to browse to the BIOS that I've downloaded. So this is in my WinUA folder under Kickstarts. And uh, there is the BIOS file that I downloaded. So that's added. Um, next option is memory. So how much memory do we want our PC to have? Uh, let's just have 640k of memory. Let's go for the max. Uh, other options you've got uh, default video, you can have monochrome or color. I'm just gonna stick with monochrome. You can go with the color option if you want. Next, uh, PC speaker emulation. So once the PC has booted up, um, it will give a little beep sound. Um, I'm not really keen on PC speakers, so let's just leave that off. Um, an FPU if you want it as well and emulator config, which we don't really need for the moment. So with all of that done and the BIOS selected, uh, let's go on to the next bit. Under floppy disks, uh, what I'm gonna do is go search for, not the MS-DOS, but we're gonna search for our A2088 bridge board install disk. So 1.3 is what I've got. So I'm going to mount that in DF0. And then let's give our Amiga a reboot. Now at the bottom, you'll see that there's an x86 stop function. And just out of shot is the uh, 68,000 uh, CPU display. So this is basically showing us that actually we've, we've got the x86 board installed and it's showing that it's running now, which is good. Um, the reason being is that we're booting from that install floppy disk. So we're not booting from the hard drive at the moment. We're booting from the floppy disk. So next, what we're going to do is we're going to go to PC install. And then I'm going to go to bridge install. Please have a backup copy of your workbench ready to install the files on. I've, I've made a backup of my hard drive because we're doing a hard drive installation. So now it's copying the files to the RAM disk. We'll just wait for that to finish. And then it's saying, right, what files do you want to uh, install? Well, I'm just gonna leave everything ticked, which is the default. Um, yeah, and then we just click on okay at the top. Now, where do we want it installed? I'll go and select DH0, that's my hard drive, and then click on okay. And then click on okay and then it's examining the target and then it will go off and install everything to the hard drive so with that done uh, we can just double check by going into our workbench and then we just need to make sure if we scroll along to the right we've got a pc directory brilliant that's all good so what we're going to do is we're going to press f12 
eject that disk and give our Amiga reboot. So then we're just booting off of the hard drive again. And if we press F12, I now want to put in my MS-DOS disk. Now you'd think, oh, I'll just put it in my DFO drive. These disks probably came on a five and a quarter inch uh, floppy disk. So they're very different to a DFO. Now under the emulation, you need to tick DF2. The reason being that DF2 and DF3 are slightly special. If we go on to the drop down for DF2, you'll see a couple of options. You'll see bridge board, five and a quarter inch, 40 tracks or 80 tracks. Now, um, MS-DOS disk that I've got off of Winwell PC is a 40 track disk. It's, it's 360K disk. So uh, we choose this option here with the bridge board and then we need to browse for the disk. So I've got MS-DOS 3.3 on five and a quarter inch and it came on two disks, they're IMG files. So if you don't see these files, you might have to go to all files here because by default it might hide them like that. So go to all files, select disk one and click open. There we go. So we've definitely got that bridge board five and a quarter inch uh, selected. So let's click on OK. And then I'm probably going to need to reboot the Amiga again because I selected this DF2 after the boot. So let's do another reboot. And then let's go back into our workbench. So we're booted up now and let's go to our PC directory. So let's go to PC mono because I didn't choose the color option. I just went for the monochrome and let's double click on this. What it'll do, it will it'll open up a window and there we go. There's our Commodore PC emulator running now. So uh, let's add in the date. So. Uh, the month is 12-30-2021. Oh, I wonder if this is Y2K compatible. And what's the current time? Well, the current time is 12-30-00-2021. Uh, and there we go. Microsoft MS-DOS 3.3 running on an Amiga. Pretty cool. And we can list the disk. Yeah, there we go. A little bit slow, but but when you think about it, we're running an x86 system with WinUE, which is emulating a Motorola processor with a bridge board with an x86 and emulating an old PC. Pretty crazy. Now, you probably think, Mikey G, What's the reason for this? And really, there's no reason for it. It's just a bit of fun. You could run some really old uh, PC software in here, maybe, and relive some of the days of, of of running old software on your Amiga that was x86. Um, there's not really any benefit to this. There's other things like uh, DOSBox that you can run uh, DOS more efficiently on. But today was just a bit of fun and yeah we got it working can i invite you to click the like button if you enjoyed this video it will help me to work out what videos are working and those that aren't see you in another video